Hello everybody, this is Laura with Vindeco. Uh, today we're going to go through some jewelry I got. I ordered two bags online. They were $7 each. And the seller put in a nice free gift, so I can't wait to see what is in there. Before I get to opening these, and I'm super excited, I haven't gone through them yet as hard as it is to not open them up before I do it. I want to be looking at it for the first time with you guys. So um, before I do those, I am going to show you some things because my mom has gotten super into going to thrift stores for me. So she just picks up things here and there. And this is something that she got recently. And I don't think it's actually vintage. It's made to look vintage because they put sort of a vintage looking picture in it. But it's just a cute little um, picture frame brooch. And it dangles and it says it's Papal Freelance made in Taiwan. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm not going to be putting it up on Poshmark. Um, I'll probably sell it maybe on Etsy or eBay. When I do, I'll put the link um, under the discussion portion of my YouTube channel. So if anyone's interested in that, you should be able to find a link for it here pretty soon. So that was pretty cute. And then... She also found, I don't know if you can see it, um, this is a little brooch, it has, I need to tilt this up more, it has little, I guess there's a fork, a shovel, like it's not a fork, it's a pitchfork, a shovel, like a little, little gardening tools, and it's like a cute little bronze brooch, dangles, and I just thought it was really adorable. Um, I'm not putting it up on the Vindeco, but I'm going to probably do the same thing with this one. It's either going to be on Etsy or on eBay. Probably Etsy on both of them, as a matter of fact. And I'll just post the links up here on the YouTube channel. Um, she also got this. I think this one is vintage. I see some kind of patina looking wear on the inside of it, but uh, it's it's a bracelet. It's really, really cool. It fits me. <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time not keeping this one, but if you can see right there, it has some, I think, parts of it on the inside. It's like inlaid shell, puka shell or something like that, and some sort of resin, lucite looking kind of material amber colored and it goes all the way around so I thought that was a really cool buy that one I am going to put up on my Poshmark uh, store my Poshmark store by the way you can um, find that on uh, if you look up Vindeco V-I-N-D-E-C-O on Poshmark you'll find all the items I have for sale I took down my um vindecojewelry.com just because the fees were getting to be so expensive and I just thought you know Poshmark is a better way to go so no more website for Vindeco and only selling on Poshmark these right here are just some screw backs she picked up and it's kind of like almost a um, it's like a light blue stone I don't know if you can yeah see there you go light blue stone and just a traditional vintage screw back. I know a couple of these she sent me had actual maker's mark. This one is not one of them, but those will be up on my posh uh, site. Ooh, I love Aurora Borealis. These are two screw backs um, with Auroras and they're so shiny and so pretty and I love them and I will put those up on my Ooh, boo, that one's missing a stone. I just noticed that, but that's an easy fix, and I have a, a bunch of harvested auroras, so I'll fix that one and probably just reset that, and it should be available on Poshmark. So that's going in the repair pile. And then this was a cool find. I was proud of her for this one. I've trained her well. This one's also missing a stone. Again, that's something I'll replace really easily. Oopsies. Oh, Laura. It's too soon to be dropping stuff in this video. Um, these are actually Coro. Brilliant colored 
blue rhinestones, just so shiny and bright. Um, and then on the back, they're stamped Coro. And I think it's just the Coro. It doesn't have the, doesn't have anything other than that. Sometimes they date them by what they say next to them. But, um, so I'll be replacing that stone and then I'll have those up for sale too. The last one was kind of a unique, unique little piece. Um, she found this. I looked at it and at first I thought, oh my gosh, that's made of wood. How cool. But upon closer inspection, I used the jeweler's loop and I think it's made of some type of bone. It's really cool. Everything's hand carved on it. Um, you can maybe see up close. That light I have on is causing kind of a weird glare, but yeah. So I just thought that was really neat. It has a barrel clasp, um, and I'm definitely going to want that in my shop. So, Okay, now that we are done with the things my mother found for me, time to move on. We're going to open, let's open the free gift she gave us first. Um, it's so common now for people when you buy online to give free gifts says, Laura, thank you so very much for the business, and please leave feedback. Um, a small gift included for buying two. Because she had each bag for sale for fourteen or for $7, and I bought two. Um, so she gave me a free gift. And a cute little bag, too. It has like a little uh, kind of, I don't know, like a, a charm on it. And it's just really cute. Anyways, she gave me... Some Kenneth Cole earrings, stud earrings, um, and they're they're really cute. They look new. They still have the tag on them. MSRP twenty six dollars. So I'm sure she didn't spend that much on them, but I still appreciate the gesture. And that's kind of what makes people stand out from uh, the next guy online. Is some of them will give you free gifts, and if you like what they send you. Um, Repeat customers are always nice. So, let's see what we got here for $7. These are supposed to be mostly vintage, so I'm really excited to see what we have. Because just looking from the outside, it looks very promising. Ooh, first thing I see, they popped out right together. Whoopsies. Um, some blue stone... Blue rhinestone, silver tone earrings. So cute. I really like those. Those don't seem to be vintage, but they have a really pretty, pretty aesthetic on those. So, and they're cute. Okay. And a ring, which is great because I never seem to have enough rings in my collection. This kind of has a little bit of an Art Deco vibe to it, which is awesome. It's black enamel. I'll have to diamond test these later. I didn't bring it upstairs and I should have, but I'm currently hiding out for my kids in here to do the video, so I don't want to go downstairs. But I love this ring. Wow. And it looks great on. So I'll have to diamond test those. And actually, you know what? I can at least look with my loop and see what I can tell just off the top. Just seeing that. I think I think these are probably going to be rhinestone, but we will definitely find out. So put that to the side here. Oh my gosh, I can't even sit down on the floor with my old joints anymore. So what do we have here? This looks like it's going to be a necklace of some kind. Usually I look for the clasp first. This is... Is that a clasp right there? Yes. There we go. So now we have a couple little tangles to sort through. This is a pretty necklace. Um, what do we have going on here? Whale. 
and it looks like it's probably just one of those necklaces that hangs down and move all this to the side. Actually, we're going to put it down here, and that way I can sort of have a non-obstructed view on here. So this is one of those necklaces that just kind of decorative, um, wear it to the office, wear it to dinner. I like that. Very sparkly, nice movement to it, gold tone, lobster clasp, it's more modern, so um, find a place for that. Next is, I don't know if those are moonstone or not, but it's a very kind of pale color and silver tone, and I want to see... I don't see any markings. Uh, I was going to see if it's 925, but I don't think it is. Um, this looks like it might be one of those kind of handmade, sold at like a craft fair or um, kind of, I don't know, outdoor market type place. But it's really pretty. I like it. Put that with bracelets. And, ooh. I love this. Oh my gosh. Look at this necklace, you guys. It is beautiful. Very vintage looking. Um, I can't tell those are not stone. They look like stone, but they, I think, are plastic. And I'm wondering if they're lucite. They look like it, but they could be a cheaper plastic. I can't tell, but I love it. It's so pretty. You see? So if anybody knows how you actually test to see if something is lucite versus just, you know, some kind of regular cheap plastic, let me know or comment below in this video. It just has a, uh, just a regular clasp. I don't know. I can't decide if it's vintage or not, but it definitely has a really cool look to it. So I'll be doing something with that for sure. Moving right along. All right. This is a, it's a brooch, and it has the name Florenza. Florenza on the back. I've never, I've never seen that one before. I don't know if I can get that in view, but... Lorenza. And it looks like it's missing one of the little turquoise pieces. I might actually have one to replace that. Um, it has seed pearls and accented kind of purple stones and a plastic centerpiece that's made to look like tortoise shell. And it's really pretty. I'll have to replace that little stone, but I like it. That's going in my repair pile along with those earrings. Okay. So, moving right along. What do we have next? And like I said, guys, if there's anything that you see in this video that you like and you don't know where to find it and on one of my sites, you can email me at vindecojewelry at gmail.com. Vindeco, like my channel name, V-I-N-D-E-C-O, jewelry at gmail.com. This is a one, two, three, four, four strand uh, necklace, silver tone. Kind of, ha It has kind of a cheap feel to it. Um, well, actually, Sarah Coventry. Um, so it's not very cheap, but it's a nice necklace. And that I could see somebody wearing to the office. It's really, it's very lightweight actually. So if you're one of those people that, I know if I wear something too heavy on my ears or my neck, I might get a headache because I'm prone to those. So if you like lightweight necklaces, this is a nice one. 
maybe an Etsy. Ooh, here we go. That is a, looks like it's um, bamboo. It's, well, it's supposed to look like bamboo. It's not actually bamboo. And it is magnetic right here at this front part. Has that hinge on the back. And it's really substantial. It's, you know, it's well made. And it's a gold tone. Could use a nice little shining. Let's see. Looking for marks. And I don't see any. But it's really a nice nice cute bracelet and I always need more bracelets so that's great and speaking of bracelets I'll do all these together I just found these this is just kind of a you know a cheap gold tone gold tone bangle I get lots of those this is um it's almost like child size it's so small but it says love it's a gold tone bangle says love with the ever so popular infinity sign on there infinite love very romantic notion um and it says something on the inside here oh my gosh i'm gonna have to get my loop because i can't see well anymore did anyone else's eyesight get worse after they had kids mm. It says Mon Montraband? Yeah, Montraband. I never heard of that, but Montrabrand. But it's a cute little bracelet. Um, ooh, this bangle has auroras on it. Aurora Borealis, as everybody knows or should know or will know. It's my favorite rhinestone. Um, a gold tone auroras set in the bangle, and it doesn't look like it's missing any. Yay! Definitely, I'm gonna get this one um, up on Posh Mark. Um, let me see. Oh, I left my loop on the other night, and now the battery is running low, so the light is kind of. I, as many times as I see these, I never stop loving them. Um, these vintage black, either plastic or glass beads. It's a beaded necklace. They're just so pretty. They look like pearls, but like a goth kind of pearl. Um, and this one looks like it does have a marking. But look at the clasp on this one. It's so different from the traditional. Um, it's it's well made. It's really well made, and it says something. So um, they sound like they're glass beads. They sound and feel like glass, and they are knotted individually in between them, which is usually a sign that the person that made them took a little bit more care to make it special. So this says, if I can turn it. If I can turn it this way. What does that say? Oh, it says Monet. I'm not surprised. Monet is usually, um, they usually make some nice stuff. So Monet and what does that say? Yeah, it says Monet on the clasp too. Cool. Well, I love that and I'm excited about that find. Okay. Ooh, I am already super happy with this. I wish the seller had more for sale up there. I bought the last two, but I feel lucky to have done that. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It is almost like, um, I don't know, like the stones look almost like a smoky quartz kind of color. And they're set in these really pretty kind of uh, flower kind of uh, flower. They look like flower buds is what they look like. Um, and it's kind of a brass colored brass tone. 
Um, and I just absolutely adore this. And I'm going to have a hard time putting it up for sale anywhere. Um, it's really pretty. And I am looking at it to see if there's a maker because it's so cute. And I don't see a maker on it. But, I mean, it has... It's just... I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'll have to look a little bit more closely to see if it has a maker, but I don't see one right there. Wowzas! Look at the size of that. This is definitely plastic sounding. Yeah. So, a big plastic pendant right here, kind of like a, a charcoal gray with some swirls, and then it has some sort sort of faceted black, gray, and smoky quartz colored beads. Silver tone. Um, no maker that I can see on that. That's just kind of a costumey beaded piece. People love those though. What do I have here? That's pretty unusual. <laughs> it's so kind of random and against stuff that I normally like that I actually love it. <laughs> it has this like a, uh, oh gosh, what would you call that? It's not twine, but it's like a braided fabric. And you usually would see it on craft pieces or like, you know, those summer camp bracelets that kids make. So I wouldn't even give it a second look if it didn't have these really pretty beads floral silver tone beads on the actual necklace part and then you have some really pretty faux pearls and you see at the bottom of them they have that little floral detail um, these look like shell mother of pearl or puka shell and it has this really just nice sound to it that one is really cool that's going to go on Etsy. All right. Gosh, this video might have to be separated into two, two different bags because I think even one bag is going to take oh, a long time. Look at this. Oh, my God, you guys. Look. Ah, it's an Aurora necklace. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, let me see if I can straighten this out so you get the full effect of the, the beauty of this. Um, so, it has, oh gosh, it looks so luxury, doesn't it? Yeah. So, we've got uh, multiple size auroras and they kind of cascade down into the larger and then get smaller as they come up. And then the actual chain is Aurora's too. It's adjustable, so it fits multiple neck sizes. Silver tone, no maker that I can see. Doesn't matter, I love it anyway. Very, very nice. I can't keep looking at that because I'm going to take up all the time. That is just a silver tone stackable ring. What is this? Oh, this is something you would give your teacher if you wanted to get that extra credit. <laughs> it says education and has an apple. This is the suck up to your teacher um, little pin. It's cute though. It's probably gonna go back, unfortunately, in one of my lots that I sell back. So here I have a single earring, gold tone. We'll put that to the side and hope that we find another match. Same thing with this one. We'll put them to the side. Got, looks like a Christmas kind of themed earring. Put that to the side. Oh, I am just hitting the jackpot on necklaces. Wow. 
Some of these aren't even vintage and they're stunning me. Look at that. I love this seller. Oh my goodness. So those are faceted black plastic beads. It's a sort of um, bronzy tone to the actual necklace itself. Uh, adjustable neck. And it's by Chico's. So it's a modern piece, but it's really pretty. And some people, Chico's, my mother actually used to work it. No, she worked at Coldwater Creek. But I know Chico's, they have, you know, some dedicated customers there. And I'm sure somebody is going to love that. Hmm. That looks like a pendant of some sort. It was, it's a gold tone. It doesn't have any marks on it that I can see. And it looks like it maybe was on a necklace or, or a chain at some point. I have a single earring. We'll look for the match on that. And then I have um, a pair of hoops right here. I like to, when I find things that I'm not really going to sell anywhere in one of my stores, I usually will put them back in a lot and resell it to people. And I like to sell earrings in a pair when I do that. Um, because I hate getting a bunch of single earrings in my sets, even though I can use them for... Um, you know, repairs and stuff. I just, I like to give people full sets if I can. This is an interesting ring. It's tiny. doesn't even fit on my pinky, but I have big fingers and looks kind of handcrafted and it seems like it is horses. Um, with silver tone, kind of antique sort of look, but excuse my disgusting nails, guys. I'm so sorry. I wish you didn't have to stare at those. Uh, we've got another single earring. And then, woohoo! Look at that big bracelet. That is, it's pretty hefty. Um, it's a gold tone. It looks vintage. Look at, that's like the biggest, <laughs> that's the biggest clasp like that I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That is cool. That is really cool. It looks like something like Mr. T would wear on his wrist. And I don't see any marks on it. It's just a costumey fun thing, but I like it. Another bracelet. Yay. Um, oh, I recognize these. I may actually have listed these in my... Poshmark store earlier today. That's crazy. Or some that look very similar to it. Um, looks like somebody hooked them together. But they are clip-on backs, and I think they're going to end up being Trafari. Because I think that's the one. those are the ones that I listed earlier. Actually, they're not. They're Monet. So I guess this was just a popular style to make. But they're a silver tone feather. So they will be a little bit different than the Trafari ones I listed today, but um, I like to sell my name brands on Poshmark. There's a good market for them there. So those are very cute. Clip-on backs. Good find for my earrings. There we go. All right. We've got, is this together or separate? No, that, that's together. Okay. Very lightweight. Very pretty silver tone necklace, and um, these are plastic, but it's a super, super fun piece. It's again one of those that I think you could wear with a plain t shirt, you could wear it to the office, dress it up, dress it down. No name on it, but I like that. It's very nice. Okay. Looks like I found a match to one of my earrings. Just, uh, ooh, these kind of look like, these remind me of globes. Like when we used to have globes, they spin. Um, when we used to look at geography in class, uh, they're just a cute pair of faux pearl earrings. And they're gold tone, and I don't see, actually I do see a mark on those. Now I've got to investigate. 
I am, this is going to be the longest video in the world. I'm going to have to do part one and part two. So this is going to end up being part one and I'll do the next bag on part two. What does that say? OS. Copyright. Oh, it's going to be Avon. I think. Yep. Avon. So these are Avons. Put those to the side. Is that a match? Ooh, how cute. These are just really simple and very pretty. Those are gorgeous. Rhinestone, almost 100% positive. Rhinestone, yeah, and a gold tone. Um, I don't see any marking on them, so we'll assume it's just a gold tone, but those are definitely rhinestones. But they're really sparkly and really pretty, and they're a pair, so I love them. And moving right along. What is this? Definitely these plastic beads need to be polished up a bit, wiped down. But it's another necklace. So many pretty necklaces in this. See that? They're uh, just clear plastic, faceted, sort of flat beads. Lobster clasp, it looks like. It is a silver tone. And there is a hang tag on it, but I don't know if it's going to say anything on it. It might just be one. Some people, oh, I, it does say. Okay, it says NWT, NWT. I've seen that a lot and I even looked it up a lot. I want to say it's like a brand that was carried at JCPenney or something. I might be wrong, but I'm going to have to re-look it up. And um, plastic stretchy bracelet, gold tone beads. I'm just happy that I keep getting bracelets and more bracelets. Oh my goodness. That is the daintiest little adorable bracelet. I bet it would not fit on my wrist, but it almost looks like it would be good for a child. Let me see here. It looks like it's a, it's a gold tone. Gold tone um, has some clear rhinestones or just clear plastic beads, kind of a twisted appearance and it says it's an Avon piece I think. It looks like it. Yep, it's Avon. Very cute. Very, very cute. This is, I've seen this one before. I don't know why, but it reminds me of like the Versace logo when I see it. Um, it's just, it's a bracelet. If you can see that. It's gold tone, has those links that, like I said, they remind me of the Versace logo, but I know it's not Versace, or no, not Versace, Fendi. That's what I was going to say. And it has a fold over clasp. I don't see any markings on it. it kind of has like a 1980s vibe to it, I think. But um, it's very nice. I like it. Okay. Just a stretchy, it's a large bracelet. Maybe it's an anklet. It might be an anklet. It's silver tone and turquoise um, appearing plastic beads. Not actual turquoise, but they are made to look like turquoise. Oh my gosh! Poodle lovers rejoice. <laughs> That's going to be, somebody's going to love this. 
these figural pieces that are like a specific dog breed are so popular. And how adorable is that? It's a silver tone poodle. She's all done up. She has a bow in her hair. She has a dangle tag, a dangle heart ID tag. She has, let's see, blue rhinestone eyes and a red enamel collar. I don't know if you can see this, but she has red painted toenails as well. So this one is going on Poshmark, guys. I think if you go to my store, you can probably get her, but I'm sure she's going to go fast. I should list her um, probably tomorrow. And so my store is, if you search on Poshmark, Vindeco, V-I-N-D-E-C-O. You can probably find her for the poodle lover in your life. She does have a mark, so I better check that out. And I am not surprised. It's Sarah Coventry. Sarah Coventry. So that I'm very excited about. <laughs> you with my birches. Okay, so next up a modern stretchy, kind of really pretty um, beaded or like kind of cognac colored plastic bead. All of them are plastic obviously. You've got your cheetah print and gold tone, kind of safari themed bracelet. All right, Another delicate little bracelet with a gold tone that is what it looks like up close. Dainty little thing. Okay. Oh, wow. This just screams Brighton collectibles to me. I'm not sure that I see a mark right off the bat, but if anybody's ever seen the Brighton store, that has this, uh, just has that appearance to it with that and the little spacer beads that go in between these. They have these designs on them, other oh, hearts on the back side. On the back side of those, they're like engraved hearts. And on the front side, it's just this really pretty kind of, I'm not sure what you would call that design. It looks like they used to be in better condition. They look like they were painted. The, the beads, they're obviously plastic beads, and they were painted to make, to, to look like pearls, but some of the paint is coming off, so it's an otherwise really pretty necklace with a silver tone. Even the clasp itself has a little heart detail underneath it. Can you see that? It's really cute so I hate that the pearls are unpainted and I would have to, if I was repainting them, take it off completely and restring it. So I don't know that that's something I am willing to get into. Uh, I may have to put that one in a craft lot, unfortunately. Okay, almost down to the bottom of this one. Got a lot of small stuff, and this is pretty unusual. It's a stretchy bracelet with silver plastic beads, but it has that really pretty um, top part. Do you see that? That's really pretty, and I don't even wear stretchy bracelets that much, although I should because my wrists are weird or weird size. Um, but that, those are really pretty. I am not sure what these went to. They say on the back, Leah Sophia. I've heard of that brand before. Is it like a charm? Does it go to a charm bracelet? Comment, comment underneath the video if you know. But um, I'll have to hang on to these until I find out what they go to. Okay. Next up, moving right along to... Oh, it's so cute. It's a nautical themed brooch. It's a lifesaver kind of deal, gold tone. It's um, off-white enamel with red enamel. It's really pretty. And then you have the nautical sign and a little seahorse and gold tone. 
and I don't see a mark on this one and I don't care that it doesn't have a mark because it's absolutely adorable. So, man, I, I just hit the jackpot with this one. Just um, regular pearl earrings. This one um, doesn't seem to be anything special, but you know what? I'm always selling tons of pearl things and it would be good to have like a set to sell it with. Um, hmm. Oh look, a match. Perfect. Mm, it's stuck on something, but let me see. How did this? Okay. Ah. It's the worst part about this is having to. Okay. So these earrings are Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a bronze tone metal and kind of like a deep, almost reddish, but pink stone in the middle. They're pierced, kind of a faceted teardrop, almost Aurora looking red stone. Um, Oopsies, if I drop one more thing today, I swear. But those are really pretty, and I like them a lot. All right, found the match to that earring. Very shiny auroras. They have all their stones. Silver tone. Those definitely shine. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like I think I'm gonna find matches for all the earrings in this. Um, these are really pretty too. Wow, silver tone pierced earrings has like a a it's almost a, it's like a deep purple color, and I don't see any marks on the back. And I don't think it's real silver, but these are just really pretty. Is that a mark right there? I don't think so. These are really pretty, and um, yeah, someone's going to love these. Okay, moving right along to a cute little almost losing one of its stones, so I'm going to have to put it back in there. Um, that's a little kind of, I think daisies, but just a gold tone ring. No marks on that. Little off white kind of centers to the stone and you can see that one's off to the side. So it needs to be fixed. Found the match to my Christmas earrings. They're not missing any stones. And let's see if we can get that dangling. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. They have red, white, and green rhinestones, just the teardrop shape, and it's a gold tone bow. Um, pierced backings, and I don't see a mark on them. And it's nowhere near Christmas, but Christmas stuff always sells really well. So. That is a good one to have. Um, this looks like dragonflies. We've got some, it's not pewter, but it's a pewter kind of tone. And these rhinestones are actually kind of a smoky gunmetal colored rhinestone. Um, and it's really a cute little delicate piece. And of course, you know, people have their favorite animals, bugs. What, what have you. Some people like ladybugs and I know there's people out there that are into dragonflies and this says mm, Korea. It was made in Korea. So that's a cute piece. And what is this? I think this might be two things kind of caught together and it's it looks like it's a pretty it's a pretty good one here. <laughs> I may have to kind of come back to it or tell you guys about it in the next video. I do see a barrel clasp here, which is 
really cool. It's a pretty one. So maybe I can separate that out. When I worked at a jewelry store, we would have people just bring us these things and say, hey, I don't know what to do with it. It's so tangled. And we would, when we were bored and not busy, just pull those things out and try to fix them. Oh my, this is really pretty. It has kind of a filigree frame at the bottom. Um, a white sort of uh, pear shaped, a white pear shaped rhinestone and a really pretty barrel clasp. There's another stone in that little part above that. Gold tone has a hang tag. Mm, it's actually modern. It's 1928 brand, but that's a really pretty, pretty, pretty piece. It's very dainty. I feel like even though some of them aren't vintage, they're just all around really good pieces that I got in this lot, and I'm really happy with it, so... Okay, I found the match to that. Those are pierced, um, kind of, I guess, I don't know what you'd call them, but uh, there's several different colors. I want to say they're like, um, you know the rings around Saturn? What are these called? I forget. Anyway, um, those are cute. And, oh, I have a... Uh, a barrel clasp attached to other clasps. I don't know. Maybe that's going to go in my repair section. Woo! Got a charm bracelet here. And it is a hefty one. It's It feels really well made. Um, it has a mark that I'm about to look at. Max Ann. M-A-X-A-N-N. -N, Max Ann. Don't know anything about this brand, but I can tell from the weight of this piece that it is probably really well made. It has a fold-over clasp. It is silver tone. I'll have to test it to see if it's sterling silver, but there is a heart charm. No, I'm sorry. That's a football. So there's a football, there is, what is this, a golf club? I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Uh, skis, a sled, another sled, and ice skates, another sled. Oh, it says flyer on it, too. Um, so it's mostly kind of outdoorsy, wintry sports. There's, it looks like a field hockey or a hockey stick, probably a hockey stick, and then, um, a hockey player and a basketball. So whoever owned this before was a huge sports fan. <laughs> I'll have to look into this. I'll test it to see if it's silver. And then... The only things I didn't get matches for were this earring right here, and obviously this doesn't have a match, but it, it was that pendant without a, um, a chain. And so I'll have to look in the next bag, which I'm going to do in a separate video, and see if it's in there. And then the absolute last piece I have here is a, an Easter bunny pushing a wheelbarrow with a giant Easter egg in it. Very, very cute. Has kind of a brushed metal appearance in some parts, and then um, a, kind of a shinier metal finish to the other parts. So it has a really nice look to it. Um, it's, it has a mark there on the back. I wonder if it's Avon. Nope, it's JJ. So that's a JJ brooch. So. That's what I got for bag one. I'm going to cut this video short because it is, um, you know, it's killing me at this point and it's probably boring you guys. So I'll come back on with the next stuff in a separate video. And thank you guys for sticking with me and going through this jewelry. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks and have a great day.